It's time to play the game. WWE when you're a kid he says don't try this at home we're trying it today I'm trying to jump in the ring and I'm taking this guy out because I'm gonna arcade no you're not arcade DDT, I'll, DDT uh, choke slam, slam. Uh, pedigree hey rodeo I would have came in but what would be my special move cuz the cowboy whip Look, uh, we're getting a bit of special treatment behind the scenes. This is what happens when you get the green pass. You know the vibes, special accents. <laughs> you guys have been doing this for a while? I think we've been on commentary for just over a year. I want to know, how do you get into commentary? For us, uh, both of our background is in radio and broadcasting, and we're also both giant wrestling fans. So one thing led to another. We met the right people, you know, hassled the right people. Yeah, I did a bit of um, sport commentary here and there. I do a lot of motorsport stuff. And through that, you meet people that like wrestling. They're like, hey, we need someone that can talk. So just do a lot of stuff and eventually yeah. it'll happen. Maybe one day I'll be a wrestling uh, commentator. Let's go. Welcome back to Talking Trophies. Make sure you guys do hit the subscribe button because we've got a special episode coming. Today we've been invited by Melbourne City Wrestling. They told us come down. We've got an event. So they gave us an all media access pass. We're going to record the whole event. You're going to see our live reactions. They showed us mad love. Check out their space, their channel, their uh, Instagram page. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the show. MCW, the wrestling in Melbourne, what do you think? I reckon it's getting bigger. Like you see more and more of the elite like wrestlers going overseas. So I reckon it's going to get bigger. I love it. I love the way our wrestlers are going abroad and they're bringing wrestlers here from abroad. I love it. I love the wrestling scene in Melbourne. Every time you come to the shows, it's a great time. So you can't fault it. It's always an energetic atmosphere. Uh, there's always a, a massive buzz in the, in the room. Uh, the action in the ring, it speaks for itself. And just like the characters, they, they, they come at you. They really do come at you. I, I love everything about this, the community. Yeah. I mean, the wrestling's top notch. Yeah. The athleticism is fantastic. Yeah. But it's the crowd, the 30% of this. You know, like it's a community spirit yeah. at the Thornbury Theatre. I love it. Get, don't come. Don't come. You're not gonna go crazy. Then don't come here. This is where don't the crazy. This is where the crazy comes. For the real, the real, the real one. one. Jump! 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 
is. Who's your all-time favorite wrestler? Randy Savage. Triple H. I'm going to say Brian Danielson. Brian Danielson. Randy Orton. John Cena. Oh, Cracker Jack. Slacks. For all time, got to be The Rock. But, actually no, Scott Hall, Razor Ramon. Love Ooh, him. Okay. For me, all time, Shawn Michaels, a heartbreak kid. Uh, Shawn Michaels, for sure. You gotta hit him. This is gonna be awkward because my favorite wrestler is Bret Hart, not just because yeah. I'm from Canada, so that's, uh, yeah, yeah, this is tough. Hey, I think you guys should get in the ring right now and settle this out. Give us the best impression of the wrestler you just said. Hey, no, 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 hey, no, hey, no, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> you know with a pedigree? Yes, 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 yes. No, no, no. Oh, you know with that? Okay, yeah. And last one, John Cena. You can't see me. Come on now. This is the main event. We better go up. Here he is. He's a champion. It's all on the line. Is Buddy Matthews going to take it? I don't know. Guys, I've been here for three hours. I think I'm invested in the storyline. Unexpected thing happened. It was a crowd battle. Oh. Oh. It's getting absolutely obliterated. Destroyed. He's got no chance. This is the most brutal game of wrestling I've ever seen in my life. I don't know what's going to happen. Honestly. And that much better. So the question is, who's next? What's next for you? What's next for me? Yeah. Go back to the States. All right, and uh, how do you feel after today winning the title? Sore. Sticky yeah. And uh, ready to shower and eat. Nice. That was the fastest pit stop I've ever seen. I think coming from a place like America, coming back home to the to the motherland, to you know Australia, I think sometimes uh, fast when it comes to like big stages. For me, I'm a dancer. When it comes to going around the world and doing a dance routine or something, coming back home, is it a humbling experience for you? What's the experience like for you to see what the culture is like in Australia compared to around the world, and what's the potential here in the wrestling world? Yeah, in the wrestling world. Wrestling yeah. world. Uh, it's it's um. I think that. When you when you've gone to the pinnacle, yeah. you know, like I've, you know, biggest wrestling companies in the world, yeah. um, I've wrestled the best wrestlers on the world in the world. So to kind of come back here, it's it's obviously there's things that need to be worked on, but like there's a good very very good foundation. Yeah. It's just getting that out there and getting to be known. You know what I mean? It's the same with AEW and WWE. They all started in New Japan and, and every wrestling company there is in the world, they have to start somewhere. Um, like WWE and AEW, when all of a sudden, you know, pulling in two million on the first day. So, you know, you have to gradually get there. And, you know, MCW is, like I was saying before, is like the pinnacle of Australian wrestling. Yeah. It's just about getting, um, getting out there, being seen, and eventually, the right people will see it and you know like i said my goal is to 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 get this on you know australian tv yeah. show the rest of the world and you know m move up and yeah. the talents here man it's just about telling those stories bringing people on the on the getting people on the train and enjoy enjoy all aspects and I, like i was saying in the previous interview um MCW is a show for everyone. Yeah. It has everything 
like from comedy to, to the, you know, the more of the hardcore to the dramatic to the entrance, like you're not gonna get this everywhere. And trust me, I've been places and you're coming out of a black curtain, no lights, no people. So to come here and to, to come to a MCW show, you, you, you're, you're getting in early. It's yeah. kind of like a pyramid scheme, right? Get in early, <laughs> Get in early. because, you know, you're going to be a, a fan of it, you know, before it, you know, before it blows up. Because hopefully it does blow up. And I think that it should because there's room for it. Yeah. So, you know, NXT, you hear all the rumors about NXT Australia and all these other wrestling companies yeah. coming in. There's no need. The talent's here. Yeah. MCW's the front runner. And, you know, it's good to be the flag bearer. Well, buddy, Thanks, you guys. smashed it tonight. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> Take care. Yeah, no pyramid schemes. Oh.